Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. So today is February 19th and we literally had two snowstorms in a row. And this is what my front garden looks like with this much snow. So it's completely cover the entire front garden. You don't even see my arborati and my um, my other plants anymore. So you do see, however, uh, the um, quick fire tree and all the blooms that are dried on here are still attached. So this morning before I went to work, I looked and uh, it was beautiful because it was all covered with snow but um, I didn't have time to do the video, but I thought just to kind of give you a quick look at what our winter looks like at this time of the year. So you literally don't see any of the plants except whatever that's kind of peeking out of the snow. And this is what it looks like. This is what our Canadian Toronto winter looks like here. And look at the four uh, pots or planters that I created in December, just before Christmas. Now, I hope some of the plants here survive and uh, be okay because they are supposed to be harder to zone three. So fingers crossed that they'll survive because I do want to reuse the uh, dwarf, or birders, dwarf um, evergreen that I have in the containers here as centerpieces for my spring containers. So anyhow, now I am not in the back yet, so I'm gonna go to the backyard and show you what that looks like at this moment. So here is what my backyard look like right now. Now the snow is pretty much to the height of my bobo, so it's over two feet tall right there. Look at my limelight, all the blooms are still on there. There's my variety the roses, my boxwood, cone boxwood, two of them. And that's it. So anyway, I hope you are enjoying your day wherever you are in the world. And hopefully wherever you are in the world, it's a bit warmer, less snowy, because I am so jealous of all the things that I see that people are doing around the world at this time. Uh, with their gardens, whereas we are pretty much frozen to the ground and cannot do any outdoor gardening. And this is why I take up baking, cooking, as well as indoor plants at this time of the year, because there's nothing else to do right now. Today I'm in my kitchen. So as you can see, this is the window that looks out to my backyard. And I'm just gonna come along here just to kind of see what my backyard looks like right now backyard is covered in snow so I thought you know I'll do a video inside my um, the house and in my kitchen right now and one of the things I always get asked about is you know where do I put all my plants so I don't know if you've seen uh, one of the tours that I did of uh, house plants but I put a lot of my plants on my windowsill and one of the things uh, other things that people always ask is like what do I put on top to prevent the damage to the um, the windowsill? Because underneath here is wood, right? And that uh, sometimes some of the condensation in some of the plant pots can damage it. So I'm just gonna set my camera up and then show you what that looks like and then show you what I normally put on the windowsills. And like I said, I do this, excuse me, I do this with a lot of the windowsills that I have throughout the house. And that's you, if you live in, our garden zone in our part of the world, uh, we're so north that our winter sunlight um, or the amount of sunlight we get in the winter is just so little that um, I put a lot of my plants on my windowsill. And this is also one of the reasons why I like my plants a little bit smaller so that they can fit snugly on the windowsill because the windowsill that we have here, it's only about four inches uh, wide, right? So there's not a lot of room for a bigger pot. So that's the reason why as well. Okay, so I'm gonna set my camera up and show you that, okay? Hi, 
So um, normally I'm just gonna move this out of the way so I don't damage the the faucet here. Um, so it's a piece of quartz. Oh, I have to be gentle with this. I don't want to damage the. So it's a piece of quartz, and this is just the um, the, the piece that we buy um, to put under the um, shower, the sill in the shower. So my husband bought it and he notched this so it fits around the frame of the window and he cut it uh, short to length. And then you just, and you can buy this at any Home Depot or hardware store. And then he puts it, um, he puts it right under like this and then it slides right in. And it's four inches wide, so it fits perfectly with the windowsill that we have. And I just want to give you a quick update. Look at this. I hope you can see this. So we are, what, February 19th? Uh, this is when the video was filmed. And look at the amount of buds that I have on here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. So. It's, it's just started uh, blooming again and it has been blooming non-stop for me since November. So one after the other, it has been blooming non-stop and I love this plant. And again, it's the location of where I put these pots. So the ones that I have in other parts of the house is not blooming as nicely as the one that I have here in the north facing window. And um, I haven't... Uh, I was going to start feeding them, but then because they're blooming, so I'm going to wait until these blooms finish before I do my annual feeding, which is usually um, in the spring, March, right? So anyway, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to lay it on the top. So this is because it blooms so long throughout the year. This is the reason why I like this on the kitchen windowsill because it is always blooming and I'm always looking at beautiful flowers all the time, especially when doing dishes, right? So here is where I put one of them. And it's gonna show, oh, the flowers are sharp. So here's the other one. So this one is slightly smaller, but look at it, it's blooming as well. And look at the amount of buds on these. Isn't that gorgeous? So do you see why I love these holiday cactus or Christmas cactus, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and again, so this is why I like to pinch and um, and do lots of propagation. So I'm always constantly making new plants so that if and these ever get too big, I put them in a bigger pot and then in, in another location. And then I put the smaller one up on the windowsill again. And I have been doing this for the last five years since I've been here. Right. So it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Anyway. I hope you can see all of this because it's hard to film in the um, during the day when it's bright outside. And I want to show you these two. So if you saw the video of my indoor tour in December, you'll remember that these two, uh, Pelia peppermiotis, I can't even say it right, so I'm going to stop trying. So my Pelia, they were in a little jar that was given to me by my friend, right? And then I just kind of repot it quickly before that video so that was in december and this is now february 19th so about a month and a half later almost two months later look how much it has grown i am super super in love with these i love the sort of the penny round shape of the leaf and the structure and how fast it has grown right they were like teeny tiny pups when they were given to me, but they've grown so much. And I think most of the growth has been since I started potting them separately into these containers, right? Where there's drainage holes and, and things like that. So they are gorgeous. So this is where I normally put the two of them on the windowsill. But they're tiny, right? And so they look nice on the windowsill. So I put one here, or I put this one here. And I put the other one on the other side, like so. And then, do you remember my my two air plants that I have? So these are, I don't know how old, four or five years now. I thought I've had these forever. And I think my husband got these for me when we first moved into this house. So they were tiny, but they've grown so much. And uh, I still haven't found uh, containers to display them properly yet. So. Hopefully, I'll find something that I like and I can start using. So in the meantime, um, 
I just put them in these <laughs> drinking glasses and I just place them on the window. And again, they love this window for some reason and all the moisture and the humidity uh, from all the dishwashing that I do or all the, the use of the sink that provides a lot of moisture and they love it here. So I put them here like so. And then aside from that, I also have lots of um, spider plants and all the plant, other plants that I propagate here as well. I put them in the corner like so. And then I have another set. So do you remember I propagate some of these back in my uh, Christmas cactus, holiday cactus propagation uh, video in December. So those have been planted and they uh, were given away to my sister and I am... Um, making some new ones. So these are the ring penguins. Uh, they've been here for about, I think, two weeks, three weeks or so. And you can see that they have also put on a lot of roots. So I am going to wait till the roots grow a little bit longer, maybe to about three or four centimeters. And I will pot these and give them away to my sister-in-law. I think she would love one of these for her home. So it's gorgeous. And just looking at it, they bloom as well so i have some of these pink ones down in the basement they're also blooming as well so they love the north facing window that i have in our house so i'm going to put that on here like so and sometimes i just put whatever spare um spare um candles that I have. So I use a lot of the candles in my cooking, especially if I'm cooking something that might uh, be a bit um, scented. So I use that to take out the scent of from my cooking. So anyhow, I'm going to come a little closer so you can see a quick look of my windowsill again. So anyhow, I'm going to go back so you can see a little bit more of the window in proportion to... Oh, I dropped a flower there. So anyhow, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. Okay, I, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.